Hello everyone. I hope all are doing well. Uh, welcome to my channel. they have provided us like uh, we can use the rule our uh, custom rule IDs between this range uh, let's start with creating a new rule uh, here you can see I will show you a little information that this is the 502 rule ID with the level 3 is a wazoo servers started is a default rule id and this is the trigger by a wazoo server let's we will attach or make a custom rule included by including two or three more rules uh, right now i will show you a demo of authentication failed rule and then we will include the Wazoo server started rule and authentication failed or login rule like let's authentication failed dashboard that I am coming in from just the Wazoo server and you can check the settings and you can do it using my login password here we go we get the authentication failure and the logs over here authentication failure that is 5760-5762 Zero. Let's make a custom rule by the syntax provided by Wazoo. First, we will go to the management and go to the rules and search over here with local underscore rules. Press enter, and here we got the default local rules authentication file from the Wazoo server why I am writing as a custom rule over here if in future we will upgrade our Wazoo server that will be in the production and uh, if we edit or change any configuration in the default other configuration files it will be lost when we will upgrade our Wazoo server. Let's search what is the uh, and uh, rule ID was 502 and we will search over here 502. Here I got it Wazoo server start. group name I will add a new group name here you can add by using and the rule id over here copy paste let's let's Write this rule. We will provide under 502 and 5762. Let's 
Search Zero. And I got it. Authentication failed. and what is the match we will put this straight slash and copy this match over here and uh, next one is 5762 What we are doing, we will mention the group name up there. We are overwriting three rules from two different groups, three different groups. I must say, OSEC group, Syslog group, and SSHD group. Here is our custom rule. I and we are setting this to level 3 we can set over here 10, 16 between 0 and 16 and why we this write override to override the default rules in the default configuration files like this and we are making the default rule IDs over here sub IDs 502, 5760, 5762 and what we what it will match it will match this piece of syntax and we can change the description also we can write anything authentication failed after this we are going to save authentication every time if you change anything in the OSIC configuration or the local rules configuration or any other rule configuration you have to restart the Wazoo manager to take the changes effect Yeah, the manager has been restarted. Let's go to the dashboard and refresh our dashboard. Here you can see the rule ID has been changed from 5022 to 1 lakh 1. Level is the 3 and near the description I wrote. You can see here. And you can see over here and now let's try for and fail attempt and refresh the dashboard it will take some seconds to get my system up again and let's go to the view right now we can see a simple system fail here This is for the Wazoo server started. Wazoo monitor manager Wazoo 
full log you can read the full log description what is this log for and here you can go and see full log yeah. fail password for root this this is how you can create custom rule by making combination of multiple wazoo default rules and you can set your own rule ids you can set your own rule level and many more thank you for watching stay tuned please like and subscribe my channel thank you goodbye